Jesse Jones and David Bottrell's Southern Fried Comedy, Dearly Departed, played off-Broadway and was turned into the movie Kingdom Come with Whoopi Goldberg and its all-black cast. Now it's being done by the Alpha Players and Florissant. Family patriarch Bud Turpin drops dead at the breakfast table one Sunday morning. George Lewandowski does it with a good solid thump. The surviving Turpin family members have to deal with one another at closer quarters and more frequently than they really want to get when <laughs> Bud Turpin is planted. Widow Raynell Turpin, played dry-eyed and unsentimental by Barbara Lange, wants to put mean and surly on her late husband's tombstone. <laughs> Paul Balfa gives elder son Ray Bud the quiet strength he needs to keep chaos at bay. Diane Kenley is his sweetly supported wife. Shane Rudolph, as the younger brother Junior, has to suffer the slings and arrows from the family members who invested in his invention of a machine to clean parking lots, and from his emotional wife Suzanne, played by Anna Schultz, when she discovers his indiscretions with a woman he met in one of those parking lots. Jessica Stone's Precious, never without junk food and drink at hand, is Bud and Raynell's afterthought young daughter, uh, the product of a rare moment of intimacy between them. Angie Fink is given to bellowing out gospel hymns as Bud's holier-than-thou sister Marguerite and Grayson Justice is her son Royce, who seems to have survived life with his mother with a modicum of common sense. Bill Miller is the Reverend Hooker, making up good things to say about the deceased, whom he barely knew, and dyspeptically fleeing the pulpit to deal with the aftermath of the Mexican dinner he'd consumed. At the services, we meet Elaine Sweeney and Tom Stone as an elderly couple with the usual jokes about the suffering that comes with age. Nori Rhodes is a lively and much married blonde, and Mike Rennes is Ray Bud's boss at the auto repair shop. Dearly Departed strings together a series of comic scenes with little dramatic bill, and the cast under Tanya Byrne's direction maintains a pace that keeps those scenes amusing. The first act calls for nine scenes, perhaps the product of people thinking more of TV where they'd work than of the stage, but Burns is director and she and the other set designers, Ron Burns and Greg Jeffrey, keep the setting simple and suggestive with Bob Veach's lights taking us quickly from one part of the stage to another. No strong visual design reinforces the action, but more importantly, the action doesn't bog down in massive drawn-out set changes. Barbara Lange and Tanya Burns design costumes that contribute to the humor, as does Brian Borgstedt's sound design. Dearly Departed is elemental theater that amuses the Alpha Players audience for a couple of hours. And it amused us, too. Jesse Jones went on to be a part of the Jones Hope Wooten Collaborative, and I think this is the third play we've seen by her in a very short time. Hey, thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe and check us out on Facebook. The link is below.